Knights have been ranked in the top 5% of all agents across the UK for marketing. And we also let 100% of the properties we took to the market in 2021. How did we do it? So this video is all about property marketing and how we prepare and create the property marketing material that we need in order to propel your properties to the audience. And I wanna start this video by making two big statements. The first one is that rightmove.co.uk, the leading property portal in the UK, wrote to us recently to tell us some good news. Um, they told us that they'd analyzed all of the 20,000 plus estate agents operating in the UK that had listed their properties on Rightmove. They'd analyzed all of the marketing over, I think it was 20 data points uh, that they'd analyzed. And they wrote to us to tell us that our properties performed in the top 5% of all of the agents in the UK. That includes sales and lettings. And they classified our marketing as exceptional because it covered all of the bases and did all of the things um, to enhance the marketing profile for our landlords. And they cross-referenced this with some data. And what they found was that our properties generate 55% more leads and they let 15% faster because we do these things properly. Now, disclaimer, if you download our guide for landlords and see page six, there's a section on this which cites the data sources and the time periods, um, but it's, it was a brilliant thing to see when they wrote to us and said that. And, and secondly, the other thing I wanted to, to cover off was last year, 2021, we let 100% of the properties that we took to the market. So if we took a property to the market in 2021 and a landlord instructed us to let their property, we delivered, we let the property and we housed the tenant. A 100% success record. And I would be amazed if there is another letting agent in the southeast of England that could say the same. So when it comes to property marketing, we aren't just good at it, we are the creme de la creme. We are nailing it. Property marketing is very, very important because it's crucial to put your best foot forward in order to uh, capture all of the possible leads that you can in order for us to generate as much information as we can generate from the marketing material. Because obviously once this is done, it's then over to us to screen the tenants, you know, filter the application, screen the tenants and, and create the best partnership we can between landlord and tenant. But it's absolutely crucial to get the marketing right. And as I'm sure you've observed and as I'm sure you know, uh, we, there are um, a few key areas to marketing. Uh, so you have the photography, you have the description, you have the measurements and the floor plan, uh, you have the video tour, and you have the material information, the Property Misdescriptions Act. So to start with, the photography. Super important to get this right. Um, we have opted for a, uh, a Canon digital camera with an upgraded lens for the internal photographs which works very, very well for us. Uh, it's important you know, to capture each room and each space at its best. So you've got to take the photographs, taking into consideration the position of the furniture, position of the doors, where the windows are, because you want the best lighting, and make sure the room is staged properly uh, and it's not a complete mess. Um, and just make sure you capture the space in its, in its best light. Um, for the external photographs, um, we um, often use an aerial camera uh, just to give the property, I and mean, you can't use it for every single property and every property type, but for most, it, it might help capture an extension to the side or to the rear, maybe a little bit of the garden, uh, and just give the property a little bit more gravitas and separate it from the herd when it's presented to the audience online. And I'm very guilty of taking a lot of photographs um, when it comes to taking on a property, because uh, I don't want to miss anything. So I, I would take, you know, for your average three bedroom semi-detached property that's around about a thousand square feet, I would probably take 80 to 100 photographs of the property um, just to make sure that I've captured every angle, all the details, and I've got everything done that I need to get so I can bring it back to the office. And the next process for the photographs is once we've got all of the raw data that we need, all of that material, we pause. We don't just rush the property on the market. It's not a race we make sure that we've absolutely nailed it. We've got every picture that we could possibly need from every angle we would need it from. 
once we know we've got everything and everything and the, the best photographs are selected to put the property forward in its best light um, all the photos are run through a digital editing process so they're lightened and sharpened and color enhanced just to make sure they look really pretty and really capture the eye and have a nice composition uh, we also do this with the external photograph so we can take out things like um, uh, bins or something or um, if someone wasn't around at the time and their car was parked on the drive we can remove their car obviously we do ask people to move their cars but it's not always possible sometimes someone's gone out and they've taken the keys and the car can't be moved um, once we had to remove a minibus from a driveway um, which we were able to do um, with digital technology so um, uh, that's that's part of the part of the process and the overall package to make sure that the images we're putting together are perfect. We can even put a lovely blue sky in the photograph so no matter what the weather was doing on the day the, the property and the presentation will look nice and positive. Um, unfortunately some of the time, well unfortunately in England most of the time it might be overcast, cloudy or raining um, but it's not a problem anymore we can insert a nice blue sky. Next up is what we write about the property and we do that in two parts. Uh, we have a description of the property and then we have um, just a sort of a notation list of the accommodation. So in terms of the description, very, very important not to dribble on, and it's very, very important not to just tell people what's in the property. Because uh, how many descriptions have you seen for a property and it's just nonsense? It says basically on the ground floor there are some rooms, and on the top floor, you know, guess what, there's bedrooms. Um, <laughs> it's useless. You need to talk about the benefits of living in that property, the lifestyle you could have living in that property, the, the benefits the location gives you. Um, so that's very, very important, but you've got to do it concisely. And the other part, the notation, will literally list out the accommodation, the rooms, the measurements, what floor they're on, um, what's inside the property, what's outside the property, any other information like the EPC, um, the, um, un is it unfurnished, is it furnished, is a garage included, is it not included, all of the additional information that anyone might need to make an informed decision on the property. Lots of agents overlook that and they'll put the bare minimum information out there and waste their time dealing with inquiries they didn't need to be dealing with. Now the floor plan and the measurements. This is a massively overlooked part of the puzzle, especially in lettings. It's statistically proven by right move that a floor plan increases inquiries. Yet we still see so many adverts with no floor plan and no measurements. It is criminal. A full floor plan with measurements and square footage is crucial, it is a must have, because it helps the prospective purchaser visualize where their furniture would go. They can see how they would use the space and it's like the first stage on a multi-step process to pre-closing a tenancy. Um, and unlike pictures, which can sometimes make a room look larger than it is or smaller than it is, the floor plan is a 100% solid meters, feet and inches 2D representation of the truth of the property. So it's really, really important. The video tour, the first viewing of the property. Um, these became absolutely essential throughout the pandemic. And we let dozens of properties off of video tours for our clients, uh, much to their delight. Um, and we create free video tours at nights for every single instruction that we get. We film them, we edit them all in house. Um, they're literally a virtual viewing and a walkthrough of the property. Um, it's important for me to say as well that for security reasons and for privacy reasons, we don't just put the video tour online for all to see. Um, the video tour is only sent to inquiries, to pre-qualified inquiries. Um, and that's a security decision that we've made as a company. And lastly, the boring part, you've got the um, property misdescriptions act, the material information you're giving people um, and you've got to look at what material you are providing for the property. Has it been checked? Has it been verified? Is it truthful? You've got to think about what you write about the property and what you say about the property. The distances that you quote, you know, if it's one mile from the station or if it's 1.1 miles from the station, these fine details matter a lot. Um, are the measurements accurate? taking into consideration any recessed spaces in the rooms. Because uh, with, with extensions and with the age of properties we have in this country, things can get quite complicated when you're taking measurements for a property. So you need to be really, really careful, make sure they're accurate. Um, you must display the EPC rating. Um, so many agents still not doing this. And there are big fines for it. Um, and if an agent is missing that basic requirement, 
God knows what else they're missing. Um, and later this year, we're going to see regulations imposed on um, agents advertising council tax bans, uh, amongst other things. Um, but the benefits of doing all this properly are far reaching because we are covering every single base uh, with the interested parties up front. It means the feedback that you receive as a landlord has value to it. You won't hear things like, oh, we didn't realise the second bedroom was this size, or um, we didn't realise it was this far from the shops, because we cover all of that with everyone before they even get to the property. As you've probably gathered, we do all of this in-house. We don't farm it out to a third party. Um, we want to retain 100% control. We are massively hands-on at night, and we always will be. Um, by, co by showcasing your property perfectly, it creates demand, it creates excitement, it creates urgency, and it draws in all of the possible interest from the market. And we will also proactively market the property by calling all of our pre-qualified applicants and emailing out the details, contacting our corporate contacts and relocation agents. And then when the polished marketing product has been out there for a while and it's done its job and we've got a good number of inquiries, um, we will go through all of those inquiries and book viewings, screen the applicants accordingly and we will look to create a long-lasting partnership between landlord and tenant. We don't just work on a first-come, first-served basis. Um, this isn't a canteen. Um, we are looking to create the best, tenant, uh, best tenancies we can for our clients based on their criteria, which is why marketing and tenant screening are extremely important. So if you want things done properly and not just quickly, choose Knights.